Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in this one, we're going to talk about Lucid, ticket symbol LCID. Um, again, this is a stock that we've covered here on the channel. I've been giving you guys step-by-step -step updates and what's happening, when to buy, when to sell, or the different uh, uh information that's been coming out about this stock. I've been trying to keep you guys up to date. And so today, um, there's some information that I want you guys to know, even though the stock is uh, on the uptrend, but I just want you guys to know that there's a possibility of a, a little pullback. So we're going to cover that into this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Lucid, guys, I don't need to sell this company to you. Again, like I said in the past video, if you haven't already uh, understood the business model and why I like Lucid, um, again, it's not a Tesla killer. They've never... Uh, sold themselves as a Tesla killer. They are just selling themselves as a premium EV company. So Tesla would be like your Toyota and then uh, Lucid would be your Lexus. So that's pretty much what it is. Um, and, and go check out the company. I'm not going to go into the details as to what the company is doing because I've said that here on the channel um, repeatedly. So today, again, uh, if we can take a look at the, the, the stock here, it's just been moving to like this upside and, and, and enjoying this wonderful movement. So you can see here, um, you can pull this here, open up today at about 20, uh, kind of right somewhere around 28, and it, it squeezed all the way to a high of 34.68, almost about $35. And remember, I told you guys uh, in the last video, I said this thing was gonna go see somewhere around 33. But it blew past 33. My bad. Um, you know, I, I predicted 33, but we're sitting at 34 and some change right now, which for high, uh, which I don't think that's the end of it. But um, again, if you are a long term investor in Lucid, you don't have to do anything. In, in my personal opinion, you just sit back and relax and let this thing do what it's supposed to do. Um, if you are looking to get in, I'd say don't let FOMO get you because now you're going to look and say, hey, can I jump in right now? Do not do that. Wait for pullbacks, guys, because after every run like this, there's going to be a pullback. Again, like I said in the last video, Lucid is shipping out their vehicles. As a matter of fact, today, our uh, most of their, their vehicles, most of their customers are going to start receiving their vehicles and they're going to drive it and test it. They're going to be like guinea pigs because the company did their test. Now these guys are going to do their own tests um, again as the, the customers you know, or as the users of the vehicles, which is definitely going to bring up some issues that they didn't find and then they'll have to work and fix those. So um, just wait patiently if you're not in the stock because you're going to be thinking, oh, I, I'm missing out. Don't let FOMO get you if you want to invest in this company long term. If you're trading, you're fine. But if you want to invest long term, wait for a pullback before that would happen. Um, again, the other thing that I wanted to bring up to you guys um, as far as Lucy um, is the fact that today is actually the redemption date of their stock uh, public warrant. So they had extended these uh, warrants, I think, twice now. Um, but today is the day that is supposed to um, actually uh, redeem those warrants if they wanted to. And the issue with uh, redeeming warrants is that uh, these warrants are actually bought and they are set to be redeemed at a, sp a specific price. Um, I don't know what that price is, but that's how it works. The warrant is actually scheduled to be redeemed at a specific price. Um, for somebody that bought the warrant, the disadvantage of that is if this company went if this company went to zero, let's say they went bankrupt, and you own the warrant, you end up with nothing. Your investment turns into zero. Um, so that's that's a possibility, but they take that chance. Uh, but if the company do, does great and then you want to redeem your warrant, you redeem them. It doesn't matter what the stock price is at that particular time. You will redeem them at a specific price. So it could be, let's say right now this thing is trading at $33 and your, re your redemption, it could be somewhere around 15 bucks a share. And that means you are coming in pretty good. So that's the advantage. The disadvantage is if you hold the warrant, um, anything happened to the company, it can easily go to zero. So just something I want to let you guys know. And uh, usually when there is warrant redemption, what happens is the price of the stock usually pulls back. 
Um, but today, I think Lucid is benefiting from the fact that they are uh, shipping out these vehicles. It's excitement. Customers are happy. People are excited. Uh, and so this news about the Warren Redemption is just getting overshadowed by this, uh, the delivery of their cars, which I think is a brilliant move. So keep an eye on it. Let's see what happens. Uh, because if anything, um, if people notice that the, the redemptions of the Warrens are starting to take place, you might see a little sell-off. But just keep an eye on it. Again, for long-term investors, you got nothing to worry about. Hang on to your shares and just watch this thing grow um, in the future. Again, my plan here is five, ten years down the road. Is I'm not just thinking a year or two. No, I'm thinking five, ten years. Uh, because if you look at Tesla, what Tesla is today, this is exactly how Tesla started. Um, and again, they had to prove themselves. Lucid comes in with the advantage of that. Uh, people that worked at Tesla um, a part of Lucid, and so they understood the struggles that Tesla went through. So at least I'm assuming that they're smart enough to not make the same mistakes. So that is my uh, my, my thought here. So I wanted to give you guys this quick update. Um, again, you can see Lucid is really uh, still squeezing up to the upside. The, the momentum hasn't stopped. You can see here each time it makes a run, uh, it pull backs a little bit, squeeze up. Um, this one got up to right here 34, pull back down to 32, and then squeeze back up to 34.68. So each time there's been a run, um, it's kind of like you know, squeeze back up. So I don't know where this thing's going to end. Um, but we might break 35 today by the end of the day. That's a possibility. But I'm not even panicking because, again, you know, like I said, this is not something that I am um, looking to sell. I'm holding this one long term. So if you are somebody that was swinging it and just looking to make some profit, and then you can come up with your plan to start taking some of that profit. Otherwise, just let it ride, baby. Um, let it ride. Because, I mean, long term, this thing is, yeah, it's going to pay off in, in my personal opinion. So um, that's where I wanted to let you guys know. Um, again, just some, some quick things here. They plan on doing about 520 uh, Lucid Air deliveries just a year, which is quite a bit. And, and so that would be um, great for customers. And then um, again, when people start looking at it, uh, driving it and, you know, talking about your 520 miles, uh, you know, official uh, EPA mileage, this is going to drive the price of the stock again up. That's just my personal prediction here. But I could be biased because I love the company. Uh, I'm an, I invested in this and I, I hold a massive position. So that could be just me um, being biased here. But do your research. Do some, some research and make sure that you understand Lucy. Not just jump in there because people are saying it. I know some of you guys that have been posting or even in the Discord server saying like, hey, this is awesome. It's great. Um, but you have to have a plan because um, when you invest, you can think, are you investing long term? Are you investing short term like swing trade or are you trading? So long term investors, you got nothing to worry about. Swing traders, uh, you need to start looking at, hey. Um, where do I take profit? Should I take 50% here and let the rest ride? Or should I take out my initial investment and just let the profit go? So those are some of the decisions that you have to make. Um, but again, it's up to you to make that decision. If you're new here, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free crypto. As a matter of fact, you get $5 worth of Shiber and then you get some free uh, stocks. I don't know, from somewhere from like $3 all the way to $1,500. So I'll put the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Oh, 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 oh,